cocked is here, right? So when he throws his punch at me, I'm gonna chop my, look at my hands, they're both down here. One, two, three, it fits my, my model, it fits my muscle memory. So this is gonna knock his arm down, but look, it pulls his whole body forward and off balance. That makes this a fantastic target, this a fantastic target. My drawing arm is at my side, just like it's supposed to be. And he pulls. Starts with a flinch, ah, but be a little more proactive. So he throws the punch, skip out of the way, hit, hit, hit. Excellent target here on top of the brachioradialis muscle. Uh, strike into the inner thigh, strike into the cervical plexus. What's this indicative of? Some kind of a groin protection, you're worried about it. So I think, as I've said many times, that the attack should be against the most likely, most common attacks. So this would likely not be a perfectly executed front kick, It'd be more like a football kick oh, coming through your groin, which would pull you back out of the way. So I want you to go one, one, two. I want you to push this to the side with your hand. Oh my god! I'm like this. You'd be on your toes. I got my butt back. I got this away from me. Then I need my next technique to come. You go one, two. I'm going to step into here and I'm going to push across here because he's squirrely and sink down into my pants. This is in the cockpit at the beginning and at the end. Turns out to be very important. The Japanese took it out because they thought it was a ceremony and had no value. Throw a short punch at your stomach. Okay, this is kind of for orientation, but throw a short punch at your stomach. You're going to downward block it and stand next to them. So this hand's going to come up and do this. Step in here and put his head down. Hi. Jeff in, pull his head down. Pick your knee up. Hit him in the back of the head. Hit him in the back of the head. So practice just this part. He's going to headbutt you a couple times. You're going to keep it. You might cross your knee over just to make sure you're safe. Or you might be you kneeing know? But this is just a little bit of a As he grabs you and tries to headbutt you, you're going to take your palms and slam them into the back of his head here, which would hurt. So don't do it right now. And then you're going to continue down, pick your knee up into his head. So you, this part. One, two. All right. Anyway, I take his head and put it down here. Very few people can fight this way. Bob, and pick your head up in here. His left on my right. <laughs> Palm up. Grab the thumb. Turn it over. Drop. And if he falls on the ground, pick your foot up and stomp on him. One, two, three. You're going to touch this hand so it doesn't go anywhere. You're going to bring this one up and point it down like the kata does. Pick your knee up into his head. Hit him. Hit him. I, this one, people seem to get right away. This one. It's the same thing to the outside. See the S? Push it down. Knee. Squeeze this palm to your chest. Pick your leg up. Swing. 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 One, two, three. Throws the punch. One, two, three. So you get a good solid position. And then, of course, three, four, five. First time we did a right hand punch. Now we'll try a left hand grab. So grab your wrist. You're going to re-grab it and pull off the side here so that your body is stacked on top of your elbow. Opening target, opening target. Please be careful on this one. If you do this one vigorously, you pop their elbow out and then it's not fun. But this is very powerful in itself and dropping into kibidach makes it worse. Or better, depending on your point of view. So they grab, you re-grab, pull it to your side, pick a target, pick a target. Two. So I'm going to wrap his arm this way, cross over, hit him with my knee, grab his hair or jacket, pull his head, strike, one, two, three, four, a clothesline, I like it that way too a lot, sorry. This is coming across here, Whoa. pulls him over backwards, your knee up into his back, pull his head to the side, strike. Anything that takes him off balance and out of position, then you maintain your balance and position. Somebody throws the punch, your arm flinch picks your arm up, you're going to wrap around this arm and punch into the head. So you're going one, two, one, two, and then of course, three, four. But this is an important thing to know how to do. This is an arm wrap. There are several ways to do it. In the kata, your elbow is out. In this arm wrap, your elbow is out, away from your body, picking him up. This is knocking him down and back. He's trapped. If I drop my elbow, I lose my, see his body's fine now. Keep this out like the kata. Not like that, like that. You can totally wrap this way. It's just different from what we're doing right now at this moment. I suggest you end up slightly on this side of the elbow 
because you can hyperextend it as you come across. Put this fist either into here or into here, and he's trapped. Kick him in the groin, strike across. It's totally natural. This is just a little more aggressive. I want to make sure I stop his arm. Throws the punch. Block it, stop it. Up, or does it come down? And the answer is yes, or go straight forward. Totally depends how big your guy is, where you're hitting him, when you're hitting him. If I'm hitting him on the neck here when he throws the punch, I would tend to drop this down because this is where my power is going to be, dropping him backwards. If I'm going to pick underneath the jaw here, I'd be striking more up and back. If I'm going to come down on his chin, I'd use a, it'd look more like that. They're all just fine. And you'll find kata style or karate styles that do all of them. Holly or in knife fighting often, when the person comes with a knife, they take a swing at you and their goal is to slice your arm after you've made contact. So you put your hand up to protect yourself and they slice it. So after this initial flinch, you stop the hand, you gotta pull your hand away or you don't slice it. Don't just go slower. Nope. So after this, I pull my hand away and then I can't leave the hand out there so I have to put it to the side. So they say, check, pass, trap, tip. Put your hand up here to sleep there. Check, pass, trap, hit. Check, pass, trap, hit. Check, pass, trap, hit. We're going to do that, and that is this, with your hands closed. Check, pass, trap, hit. Check. This pass hand has to be in front of your, your existing hand. You can't put it out here. Because the idea was they might be pulling their hand back and then it won't be there. So work your way in. Check, pass, trap, hit. Check. Here's this hand right here. Look, what's that look like? What's it look like? What's it look like? That right there. See it? From a can go down. Where you go one, two. You go one, two. It's the same thing in techie and hand go down. We just present it different. Turn your wrist. Turn your wrist. Turn your wrist. Turn your wrist. And of course, after this one, there's often a kick before you go to that side. I'm gonna stand here and supply punches. He's gonna punch at your head. He punches, this picks your hands up. This is a formalized version of this flinch. I'm going to attack here at the side. He punches with that hand, I twist. He punches, twist, punch, twist, punch, twist. You should get very comfortable on this one, which you guys already did. Block here, come across his neck and settle down. So right now, don't hit, you would hit. But right now, get used to your body settling down across. So is the punch, you go one, two, three. Probably has one foot in front, put this one in front for now. He's throwing a punch, one, come up for you, hit his inner thigh because he's your friend. Otherwise, you just come up into his groin. One, two, nice. swing, one, two, three, right? But what's this hand doing? Maybe it's punching. So you're going, throw the punch, you're going, one, two, both hands, three, five. Super common. And there are many styles. It's very possible that I could be coming across with my elbow. It's very possible I can be coming back across with my elbow. I'm doing this as an attack, either to the inside of his knee, inside of his thigh, up into his groin. But this is a coil for this beautiful kit right here. It is awesome. You stab the guy with your heel, you can pop his knee very easily. So please do not hit their knee. Hit above their knee about three fingers and hit softly. So don't penetrate very deep because there's not a lot of forgiveness there right now. So I'm saying you're struggling in here. That's your, look at it. It's right there. One, two. Right. So maybe he threw a punch at me. And you cover it. And right as he starts backwards, this hand comes around and hands it. Same time. Creates the opening. The key off. So this works for many things. That we, and this is actually in Joan. It's in the techies. Wouldn't be there all the time. And we make it like, oh, he's stepping and punching with this side. That side. And yeah, they're clueless about what this is. Oh, maybe you shift in. Well, maybe. But something like this works way better. Up, too high. Nope, too high. Too high. Nope. Yeah, ooh, that was good. <clears throat> this works just fine. This works better. Oh, if, you, if you get those little nerves. <laughs> oh, that's yeah.